The workshop today was phenomenal. It's always great to um, meet with developers and get and understand their needs when it comes to accessibility and understand their goals. Amazing. It was like so many information was shared uh, with everyone, with the uh, developers, with the uh, the people with a uh, disability, and there's no way to copy uh, a disability if you don't have, you know, your own disability because we we uh, was born with our uh, disability, we grew up with our disability, so the only way to find the right solution is talking with the people from the uh, disability uh, community. Talk with developers of games that I love and I've enjoyed and I get to help sort of create the world that they're about to create. Like that's that is so surreal to me that I like, I can't, like I have to pitch myself like I can't believe I'm here almost. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Meet face to face to the people who really need uh, these accessibility options to understand their actual needs, to see how actually game plays. We always talk about accessibility when we are making a game, but it's something a bit abstract. Yes, we have some stuff in mind here and there, but today talking with people with real issues, but they still want to enjoy our, our game, uh, it was really like super valuable. So I think that historically Ubisoft haven't been the best, but I think what I've seen Ubisoft do in the last one year has been incredible. Like the, the change in terms of what they did with Assassin's Creed Origins and the research that has come out of that. Like, like I point to that research almost every time I consult or give a talk or things like that. I feel like uh, Ubisoft uh, accessibility improved a lot. You think about the, uh, the old game by like, uh, Assassin's uh, Creed, the first one that had no subtitle. T until, until right now, my uh, first game that I played was uh, Assassin's Creed Origin. And that's where I learned so many uh, accessibility options there. I had to explain to developers the simple fact that if your game is not blind accessible, having a blind protagonist doesn't actually help the, the low vision community. And, and the fact that you guys are not attacking it from this angle, but you're attacking it from engineering means that you're outstripping it, outstripping some, real, some really big players in the industry. The fact that like Ubisoft is, gonna, is doing this now, I'm like, I always like to say, if there's any features that are added into the game that are, I feel like is designed almost like for me, I will shout it out to the mountaintops, it's like how cool that is. But the fact that today, I essentially got to create, like help create something that essentially was created for me, that is just makes it even cooler. Like it just all becomes full circle. You know, we're putting so much effort into this environment, into this experience, that like it just makes sense that we want everyone to enjoy it, right? So it's, it doesn't have to be with disability or not, like it's just like everyone. We want to reach everyone, so. We always say at Ubisoft that we want our game to be enjoyed by as much people as possible. And for sure, accessibility is a big, a big point for that. Honestly, the fact that like there are features that we talked about today that I've been wanting since I was a kid. Uh, I remember my brother, my brother playing these games and I couldn't be able to play them because just I, for whatever reason, there just there was certain things I just wasn't able to see or be able to do properly. And then also, like even my mom was able to like play and beat Mario that I couldn't be able to do. And so, the like, features that essentially I've been wanting for decades, and I've been sort of like, I wish there was a way I could be able to talk to developers directly to say, hey, let's make the text bigger, or let's make it so that I don't necessarily have to read all the text. I can have it in voiceover, and like things I've been thinking about for a long time. And the fact we were taking that seriously, and that we even discussed that today as options, like, yeah, we can do that. For us, like, it's gonna you know, stay in our memories during the whole production and having, you know, this is the Steve options and this is the Ray option. And like, just having like people behind those options, it gives us more uh, motivation to, uh, to push them, like having real people behind those options. If I go back to my 12 year old self and say like, hey, the stuff you've been wanting in games, like jump ahead like about like 15, 20 years and you'll be able to see exactly like the improvement that's been happening and you get to have a part of it. I'm like, that's, that astounds me. That's really, really cool. 
we will help you make games better and we're one of you basically that we're just different types types of developers right everyone's working together and it's a team and thank you basically keep doing it <laughs> we're getting there still lots of work to do but we're getting there